The Modern Warfare 2 camo challenges have leaked. Now, we haven't seen what the mastery camo is going to look like, but at least here we can see how we're going to go about unlocking it. Now, I just want to reiterate that these are leaks. Things can change. Nothing's official here, so take this all with a grain of salt. But let's go ahead and look over these. I'm getting the information for this video from COD Informer, but I've seen a few other accounts tweet out similar things, so this had the most complete information that I could show you. Anyways, here we have our camo challenges for the assault rifle. For the first two, it's pretty standard. Just get 800 kills, 125 headshots. Those numbers look a little off to me. I feel like they'd be more rounded, especially with the headshots being so low under the kills. Honestly, I'm fine with 125 though, but the kills at an 800 seems weird to me. But for a third challenge here, it says 160 stance change kills. Uh, in what he has posted here, it says it most likely means crouching which I would tend to agree with it. We've seen crouching kills in a lot of COD games, but there is a few other things that you can do movement wise here in Modern Warfare 2, like sliding, dolphin diving, mounting. Those could also mean changing your stance. I don't know if it means during or directly after, because we have had kills like right after reloading in the past, but let's go ahead and assume this just means crouching. And then they have 75 hip fire kills, not too bad. 100 long shots could be a little grueling, but hopping in hardcore, playing on a map that has a nice long angle at not too bad to get. And we also have the dreaded return of 100 mounted kills. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this challenge, myself included. Uh, it definitely changes up gameplay where you're just forced to sit there and mount your gun on a wall. But honestly, I like this a lot better than getting kills behind cover like Cold War had. It is kind of a drag to do, but you can kind of mix it in with the long shots and get two birds with one stone there. And you can kind of just like mount up on each wall as you go through. So it's not that terrible, but it is a little annoying. And then 180 full attachment kills. We saw this in Modern Warfare as well. It looks like a lot of repeats from Modern Warfare. Uh, this is getting kills while you have every attachment slot filled. Not too bad. Uh, oh, and over here it says 50 reload kills. I was just talking about this earlier. Uh, this mainly means getting kills shortly after reloading. So having on fast mags, having on fast hands, smaller mags, speed mags, things like that should help you get this one a little easier. And then the no attachment kills. This one's a lesser number than the full attachment kills, which is a little weird to me. Uh, a lot of these numbers seem kind of off, but the challenges could be true. Uh, these could be the actual challenges for it. But no attachment kills, obviously, don't throw any attachments on there. Hardcore is going to make that really easy for you. And then 35 streaks. So they're predicting the three to five kills without dying. I think for certain weapon classes, that could change. For the ARs, it's probably going to be Bloodthirsties, which is five kills. Now, I know a lot of people don't really like this challenge, but I don't think it's too bad. Uh, it puts the ball in your court. You're not really worrying about what someone else is doing like those kills behind cover challenges. Uh, this is all on you and trying to get streaks. So not not bad so far. The ARs, you know, I'd like to see less mounted kills or, you know, something different in the place, but I'd rather have that than deal with, uh, you know, the kills behind cover like previously stated. And then we look at our sniper kills, 450 kills. That is less than our ARs by nearly half. So that's nice. I know a lot of people don't snipe and it's a little more difficult for people to snipe. So it's nice to see the, the kills scale with the weapon classes. But again, I, these numbers just, they're, they're a little weird. They're a little random to me, especially the 60 headshots. That don't seem right. 60 is such a weird number to put it at. It would be either at like 50 or 100, I feel like. And then again, we see the stance change kills. Uh, could be sliding, crouching, all that. We've, we've gone over that. The one-shot kills. This one could be a little frustrating if there are some hit marker machines on the sniper class. This one was tough in Cold War for some of the weapons like the Pellington. Unless you're getting headshots, you're not getting like one-shot kills. Uh, and those higher damage barrels are usually way later in the weapon leveling process so this one could be a little frustrating but you know not too crazy to see from a sniper same with long shots obviously sniper you'd be shooting long distance holding breath another classic one we've seen that one before full attachments is there as well double kills we've seen as well as the no attachment kills and the streaks is down to 25 instead of what was the airs the 35 that's not too bad you know, getting three to five kills with a sniper, nothing crazy. I think for the snipers, they might make it three though. If they're scaling things with the weapon class on terms of like its difficulty. And then SMGs, probably gonna be a whole lot of the AR challenges. There's less kills, same headshots, stance change, hip fire, long shots mounted, full attachment, reload, no attachment and streaks again. But what I really wanna get to is the launchers. Now we've only seen two launchers in the beta. We know the beta only has like a select few weapons. They don't wanna give us everything right at the start, but there was the Joker and the Pila. I'm assuming there's gonna be an RPG and probably like an Estrella P. So there's gonna be four launchers. We're gonna to have to do these four. 125 kills, not terrible. 
Uh, unless these launchers do absolutely no damage or the, the perk with them. I didn't really test this out in the beta. Probably should have. But if they have some sort of flak jacket type perk, that could make it more difficult. But melee kills do count for them. Hardcore will exist. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. They do have the return of attacker and defender kills. So you're going to have to play some objective type modes playing like domination, hard point, things like that. Uh, getting kills while you're on the site, getting kills on people that are on the site. When you're off of it, a little confusing way to explain it there. But you have to be, say you're on B flag and then you just kill somebody anywhere else or somebody trying to get to that flag while your team is on it that'll be a defender medal and then attacker is you killing another team that is on there say like the other team is holding the b flag and you just shoot a rocket on like three people trying to hold it that would be an attacker medal and we have the aerial kills this one's kind of interesting we have a few lock on launchers i know we're probably gonna have a few free firing launchers it's gonna be a little difficult uh i'm curious to see what kill streaks are gonna be the easiest to take down and if they're going to have something like a personal radar to make it easy for like RPGs like it was in Modern Warfare. Ground streaks also going to be tough. There is a Wilson. So that's nice. Uh, Wilson's pretty popular kill streak. So you should see that a decent amount. But for these ground streak kills, I would recommend playing ground war. Because I think player controlled vehicles uh, might work for getting these uh, camos as well. So uh, I, I, I got to reiterate this at the start of the game. If you plan on going for camos, knock out a gun or two, you know, have fun for a little bit and then try to get your launchers as early as possible because it's only going to make it more difficult as the game progresses because those those game modes that have vehicles like player controlled vehicles, the, the player base for those solely drops off as the game life cycle like progresses. It could be different for this game. Ground War could be good. It was good in Modern Warfare 2019, but you do see way less people playing those as the game goes on so i would try to get those out as early as possible and then spotter kills uh you just throw on spotter you're probably gonna have this on if you're working on launchers anyway so that one should be pretty easy uh it'll just show you where kill streaks are at that you can take out so that's not too bad support kills i'm not too sure what that means maybe it means support streaks or you're getting kills while supporting something this one's a little confusing i don't know if it means like taking out like uavs like or counter uavs things that are supportive to the other team or if it means you're supporting your own team by getting these kills not too sure and they're using kills for everything here even if it's like destroying ground score streaks or destroying aerial score streaks so it's a little ambiguous to what that means but hopefully it won't be that difficult uh the two here are, are a little crazy this one is all k's or alks I, i'm not too sure uh, i'm gonna assume this means all all kill streaks so get it, taking down 50 kill streaks it doesn't matter if it's aerial or ground it's just a grand total of it hopefully that's what it means i'm not too sure what the all ks is or a l l k s uh but that's just my assumption it also could be a medal that you earn or it could be k's in terms of like knockouts like a like a baseball term i don't know I, i'm just throwing out spitballs here but uh speaking of medals the 50 warhead kills that could be uh, a metal that pops up for destroying certain types of like score streaks or just getting any kind of score streak out. Uh, that one's a little ambiguous too. Not too sure what that means. And then the 50 vehicle kills. That one's a little concerning. Obviously, it's not going to be too bad if you're playing ground war. But like I previously mentioned, those modes get less and less popular as you go on. So if it's 50 vehicle kills of people in vehicles, I'm not too sure how that one's going to go like as the game gets older. So definitely try to work on your launchers early. But I'm almost positive that Modern Warfare 2019 had a similar challenge, so it could just mean all score streaks. But it feels like with my assumptions here, a few of these camos are have like the same definition of just destroy things. So I don't know if it's going to be all encompassing of you need to destroy certain things just to get the vehicle kills or if only certain vehicles will count. If a vehicle means it needs to be player controlled or if it's just literally anything that's not a like a person that you can lock on to. So the launchers here got me a little confused. Uh, let me try to see if I can find another source and if they have any different information on these challenges. So there's another account also posting these challenges. We're going to cross check these and see if they're all pretty similar. But here he also has the all case kills and warhead kills looks to be like the exact same. Uh, no further information on that. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to dig though. But he does have some other weapon classes that the other one didn't. Here's the LMGs. 525 kills. Again, these numbers are just so random and weird. I don't I don't feel, think these numbers are right. But uh, they all look like the assault rifle challenges. Basically the same thing. But these do have double kills on here. I don't think the assault rifles had double kills unless I missed it. But these ha have double kills just like the snipers did. The pistols here have about the same challenges as the assault rifles and the LMGs. The SMGs. 
but this one has reload kills and double kills. It removes mounting from there. So we don't have to mount with our pistols or hopefully don't have to do any of those like hanging kills with the pistols. And for our shotgun challenges here, we got 100 kills, stance change, hip fire. And then here we have point blank. Uh, it looks like this has point blank instead of the SMGs. The SMGs doesn't look like you have to get like in somebody's face like you did in Cold War which is nice, but still some of the same challenges we've seen before. And here we have the nice challenges. It's 50 injured kills, 50 backstabs. Those ones pretty easy to do, pretty self-explanatory, getting kills while stabbing somebody in the back, getting kills while you're injured. Uh, getting kills while injured is going to happen a lot if you're getting shot at running right at somebody, or if you're playing hardcore, you can do a little bit of damage to yourself, and then you keep that same damage as long as you don't stim or anything, and you can get kills that way. Uh, they have dead silence kills, uh, I'm not sure if they had this in Modern Warfare 2019. Let me check. So it does look like they did have dead silence kills in Modern Warfare 2019. It, it's hard to remember. It's been a few years. But uh, it should be pretty easy. Just activate dead silence as you're going in. They have stance change kills here, which is a little weird for a knife. Uh, they did have sliding kills before. This might be sliding, but getting kills while crouched also seems a little weird. Uh, you're going to be way slower, way easier to kill. That one might be very frustrating to do. Double kills also going to be kind of difficult. You got to get two people right next to each other. It's going to be a little bit of time, especially depending on how slow the knife swing is, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, kills and smoke, that's pretty standard. Buzz kills isn't something I'm excited about because that's not anything you can really control. I guess if you just keep feeding kills to somebody till they're on a streak and then you kill them, but this one's going to be more luck based. I'm glad at least for the number. I don't know if those are legit again, but it's only 10. So this could just happen randomly. You getting kills, somebody's like streaking and you knife them. But uh, I really dislike the challenges where you have to rely on what somebody else is doing. 25 executions. We've seen this before. Shouldn't be too bad. Going to be a little difficult to to do because every time you start an assassination either their teammates gonna come and save them and kill you your teammates gonna come up and take the kill there's so many things that can happen that are bad uh it being at the very bottom of the camo challenges is a little concerning especially if you have to level it up because uh once you're you're towards the end of your camo grind with it it seems like you're gonna be stuck with nothing but executions left and then 10 streaks that's all that's pretty good if the number is actually 10 only getting like three or five kills without dying 10 times is a pretty easy thing to do it makes the knife challenges way more completable especially for those that like struggle with melee weapons and speaking of melee weapons the riot shield is gonna be back i know some of you guys are gonna be mad about it but Honestly, I think the riot shield is pretty fun to do and it's pretty easy to counter, uh, especially early in the game. You're going to be seeing a lot of people using the riot shield. I would definitely carry something that's got like a stickiness to it, like a, a Semtex or a Thermite. And if you see somebody with a riot shield, stick it right on them. Shoot their feet if they're standing. Try to get a different high ground above them if they're crouched. Uh, they're, they're not too hard to counter. And then if you have the riot shield, uh, this is something where you got to really focus on your movement. But enough about how to use the riot shield. Let's look at the camos. 200 kills with it. Seems like a lot, but while you're doing it, you should be able to knock it out. Uh, injured kills, kills from behind, dead silence kills, all things we've seen with the knife. Uh, change stance kills. Probably going to be crouching. I really hope it's not sliding because the sliding seems really slow in this game, but if it is, we're going to just have to deal with it. And then for this one, it's unknown streak small, but they also have streaks at the bottom. I don't know if it means like getting this many kills without dying or maybe getting double kills. Double kills could be a thing, but most riot shields are like a two Two shot kill so getting a double melee on somebody and then another double melee on someone else without them killing you in the process and doing that 25 times is going to be real difficult to do so this challenge being unknown is a little concerning and then the kills and smoke buzz kills executions and streaks those are all things we've seen before so he did post an update the ride shield challenge unknown that is going to be kill two enemies without dying uh, i don't know exactly how different that is from just getting your streak but maybe that's just like we don't have any other challenges to throw in here uh maybe we just have two streaks instead of just putting in something that could be ridiculously difficult or trying to add a new mechanic just for a challenge. And someone here is saying they look exactly like Modern Warfare 2019. Are you sure it's not a placeholder? And he says, yes, it's not a placeholder. And another update, all streaks are going to be kill three enemies without dying instead of five, which would be really nice. And it says here that stance challenge is going to be get kills while crouching. And that's decent for ARs, SMGs, LMGs, not too bad. Instead of just standing while you're shooting crouch down but for the knife and the riot shield might be a little difficult so now i pull out the insider article we're gonna quickly go through this and see if there's any differences i think they've come through and they've grabbed like from all the sources on twitter and just put it all together so for stance change they're saying it could be crouch or prone which i could see happening too uh, i don't really like that a lot of these challenges are more camp friendly uh it seems like a lot of people are already frustrated that the game is pretty camp heavy 
uh, in terms of how it plays. So trying to grind this out and seeing people like laying prone all the time or crouching or mounting is going to be kind of annoying to deal with. So besides that, it looks like they have all the same information, but they did not get this one. This one's still a little weird. Ride shield, a big question mark right now. So that's all the information we have on the camo challenger from Modern Warfare 2 so far. Uh, they don't look too bad. Pretty similar to Mono for 2019. Uh, a lot of them are pretty straightforward. There are a few that are annoying to do. Some that are going to be kind of difficult. But, you know, that's that's part of the mastery camo grind. Uh, nothing too crazy that I've seen. Like, that. nothing that's going to be, like, groundbreaking and just annoying to do. Looking at you, Vanguard, with your get long shots again with specific attachments. We're not doing that this year. But let me know what you think of them. Are you excited to camo grind? Are you going to be going for the mastery camo challenges? Have these challenges that we've looked at here kind of deterred you or made you think maybe you won't go for it you know let me know down below but uh that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later